Hi everyone, and welcome to the final portion of my bookshelf tour. Today, I will be delving into the last three shelves on my right bookshelf. The first one I'll be getting into is my fourth shelf, which is the smallest shelf, and is where my small books reside. On the left, I have a stack of six books, and on the top, I have The Witch of Leopard Pond by Elizabeth George Spear, and this book I have read. I Don't Want to Be Crazy by Samantha Schatz. It is written in verse, and I have read it. You Are Not Here is also by Samantha Schatz. It's written in verse, and I have read it. Next, I have the movie tie-in editions of A Series of Unfortunate Events. The first book is called The Bad Beginning. The second book is called The Reptile Room. The last book is called The Wide Window. They're all by Lemony Snicket, and I have read them. Now on to the middle stack, which consists of seven books. The Little Book of Answers, The How, Where, and Why, Like You Thought You Knew, and this book I haven't read. The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger, and this book I have read. The Barcode Tattoo by Susan Young, and this book I have read. The Squire's Tale by Gerald Morris, and this book I have read. Waiting by Coral Lynch Williams, and this book I have read. Then I have two copies of the book Perks of Being a Wallflower. The first one being the movie cover edition. The second one is the original cover, and it's by Stefan Jabotsky, and I have read it. The last stack on this shelf consists of five books. The Lover's Dictionary by David Levithan, and this book I have read. The Gifford by Lois Lowry, and this book I have read. The Goblin Wood by Hilary Bell, and this book I have read. The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, and this book I have read. Fringe, The Zodiac Paradox by Krista Schutz, and this book I haven't read. On my fourth shelf, I have my music books and instruments, which includes my ocarina, melody flute, recorder, and flute. On the right, I have my stack of magazines. On the bottom, I have a huge collection of everyday with Rachel Ray. And on top of that, I have a few teen vogue. Now the bottom shelf is where all my really tall books are kept. On the left, I have 13 graphic design books from college. Then I have three more college books, which are for history and literature. Then I have three writing books, a flip dictionary, a rhyming dictionary, and Webster's dictionary. Then Oh, the Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss, and this book I have read. Then some high school yearbooks. Then followed by my purple binder, which holds all my mom's recipes. And then after that is my dessert cookbooks. So that concludes my bookshelf tour. Just kidding! Or should I say, JK, JK, JK Rowling. <laughs> you know, I think that should be a thing. More specifically, a booktube thing. That's right, Christine from Pump and His Books. You aren't the only one making good book phrases. Now, let's get on with the bonus shelf! Yeah! Here is my weird looking shelf that used to be my sister's, but since she does not need it anymore, I have decided to use it temporarily and it has my Scott Westwood books and other books that do not fit anywhere else on it. So let's start on the top and work our way down. On the top I have a journal where I keep all my book quotes in. Wicked by Gregory Maguire and this book is about how the Wicked Witch of the West became wicked and I have read it. Then I have my huge collection of Scott Westerfeld books. These three books are part of Scott Westerfeld's Midnighters Trilogy. Book one is The Secret Hour. The second is Blue Moon. The third is Touching Darkness. And I have read this whole trilogy. Then I have So Yesterday by Scott Westerfeld. And this book I have read. Then Peeps by Scott Westerfeld. And I have read it. The Last Days by Scott Westerfeld. And this book, surprisingly, I haven't read. Then I have two completed ugly series. The first four books are the ones in the original covers. The four white ones are the new covers. I love this series so much and these new covers that I decided I just had to get them again. If you love books, you'll understand. The first book is Uglies. The second book is Pretties. The third book is Specials. The fourth book is Extras and its companion novel. And I've only read the ones with the original covers. I haven't read the others yet, but I plan on reading them very soon. Then I have Scott Westerfeld's new book called Afterworld. And this book I haven't read yet. 
Next is Zombies vs. Unicorns, and it's by Holly Black and Scott Westerfeld's wife. And I've only read some of the short stories, including Scott Westerfeld's On Zombies. Then I have a steampunk series called Leviathan by Scott Westerfeld. The first book is Leviathan. The second is Behemoth. The third book is Goliath. And I have read all three books in this trilogy. Then, after my huge collection of Scott Westerfeld books, I have an adult book called Night Circus. And this book I have not read yet. Then I have Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card, and this book I have read. Next is Pathfinder from the Pathfinder series by Orson Scott Card, and I haven't read it. Next I have the Chaos Walking Trilogy in the UK cover editions. Book 1 is an Ever Never Letting Go. Book 2 is The Ask and the Answer. Book 3 is Monsters of Men. And I've only read the first book in this trilogy by Patrick Ness. Next I have The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey, and it's the sequel to The Fifth Wave, and I have not read it yet. The House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielewski, and I'm slowly making my way through it. One Thousand White Women by Jim Fergus, and I haven't read it. The Legacy of Pumperley by Becca Ann Collins is book number 10, and I haven't read it. Mr. Emerson's Wife by Amy Belding Brown, and this book I haven't read. The Little Flip Book of Sudoku by Will Shorts. This is my favorite Bible that has its cover in my favorite color, purple. Then I have three creative books. The first one being Breakfast Journal. For Carrie Smith. The second, 642 Things to Write About. Then, 642 Things to Draw. And I haven't used these books. Now on to my last stack of books. The first one being The Manual of Aeronautics by Scott Westerfeld. And this book I haven't read all the way through. Then I have Fairy Dust and the Quest for the Egg and Fairy Haven and the Quest for the Wand. And I've only read the first book. Then I have Three books in the Saga series, Saga 1, Saga 2, and Saga Volume 3. I read all three. Then I have Mastery Manga with Mark Corelli, which I've only glanced at. So in conclusion, the number of books I haven't read are less than the books I have read, as you can see. Which, when I started my book short tour, I thought it would be the other way around. I am very pleasantly surprised. So that concludes my book short tour. Hope you liked it. And hopefully I'll see you for my next video. Bye!